open, make it a bit more fun, a bit more exciting. Mix it in with the conditioning, so in between each little skill they have to do a sprint, whatever it is. I'm not a strength conditioning guy, but get the guys together, compromise, cooperate. Uh, rehabilitation, probably strength conditioning is more important. So what we do is we get them into the videos more. Okay, so increase getting in and watching pattern recognition. Videos of your own team, constantly challenge them that way. So they're still mentally challenged, but what they don't get though is the perception action coupling. They're perceiving the patterns and structures on the videos, but they don't get to couple it with actions because they're injured. And this is this is a trick of decision making. You need to couple decisions with actions. It's the only way you're gonna get best results. Otherwise you get guys who can verbally respond, but when they get out on the pitch, they can't do. And this is the things we need to tighten up. Okay, the perception action links. And you've got to get out there and you've got to couple your responses. A good study that I saw uh, four years ago was um, a karate study where novices and experts had to look at a screen and there was a guy doing bloody karate and he, what he was going to do was punch you top left or top right, kick bottom left or bottom right and you had to predict where he was going to punch. And um, the novices and the experts, who reckon what the differences were there, you know? What's the reaction time, first of all, between the two? Any differences between reaction time between experts and novices? Who are at a karate? Yeah, absolutely. No, no reaction time difference between novices and experts. Okay.